hello and welcome back to my channel thanks to everyone on the engagement on my channel i really appreciate and i'm happy to help you know answer your questions whenever i can so today's video is going to be on addressing one of the um, questions i usually get and this is about the gdpr form some people have reached out to me to ask me how do they go about the GDPR form? How do they fill it out and all? So what is this GDPR form? The GDPR form is a requirement. It's one of the forms you need to submit when you're applying for your visa, your student Schengen um, visa in Malta. So you just have to download the form, fill it out and submit it with other documents, your visa application form, and other um, documents that is required of you. So it's very easy and it's straightforward. Um, this is what the form looks like. I'm going to be leaving a link of this PDF form in the description box so that you can easily access it and download. So, of course, this is from Identity Malta, General Data Protection Regulation Form. That is what it means. So it's just a requirement. If you go through the form, you would see um, some of the headings here are forms, purpose of processing, data recipient, recession period, and forms submitted. So during your application, you will just, this form, all you have to do is to tick whatever application you've submitted and then write your name and sign. That's just it. So for the forms, a declaration of proof, if you've submitted a declaration of proof, which I don't think is the case for a lot of people, because if you go through it, you would see that it's for, for an example, let's say you have someone that is going to provide accommodation to you for your period of stay in Malta. So this is a form that is being filled by that person, which is the host, and it has to be signed. If you read through it, you would see the requirement. The declaration of proof doesn't concern a lot of people. So what we are focusing on here is the visa application. Of course, you have to submit your visa application. So there is definitely this form, your visa application form. All you have to do is to tick other forms submitted. Because definitely you are going to submit your visa application form. So just tick it. The visa application, this is the official Schengen visa application form issued by the EU. This is used by any applicants all over the world when applying for a Schengen visa. So this is, for me, when I filled mine, this was the only thing I ticked because I, of course, submitted a visa application form. All I have to do is to tick the visa application come under the column for forms submitted and tick. You can use any PDF editor app to do it, okay? Any PDF editor app that can help you fill out this form can do it. Just tick it. For the fee exemption form, this doesn't concern a lot of people, honestly. All you have to do is just to tick this visa application under these forms submitted. And then on the second page, you write your name. I you insert your name, your first name, your middle name, your surname, your identity document number. Leave it blank because at this point, you do not have an identity document number. You're still, you know, applying for a visa, your first three months visa to arrive Malta as a student. So for me, I left it blank. So you should do the same because, of course, at this point, you do not have an identity number yet. Then sign and write the date. And that is it. Download your PDF and submit it with other documents. It's very easy, okay? This is, of course, a very important form you need to fill. So just tick the visa application form, fill out your name, your signature, and the date. And that is it. I hope I've been able to help one or two people. And thank you for... All the engagement, like I said, I really appreciate. Have a wonderful day and stay blessed. Bye.